This stroke is called the dead stroke. Uh, it follows after the bouncy stroke. So that's how it looks. All of the aspects of the grip, as with all of the strokes, are going to stay exactly the same. So the same point, the same seesaw point, the stick is straight, it, and that stays through the whole stroke. It doesn't go out, do anything. The fingers are staying in the same point on the stick, and my hand is rotated downwards all the time. Now, it's not a, an aggressive motion. I'm not jamming my hand down. I'm just letting my hand drop, and I am letting my fingers close over the stick, and that's the really important part of this stroke. Deceptively difficult, it's not as easy as it looks. You hit it and the stick is gonna finish two centimeters above, or so, or maybe three, you know, not exactly. Maybe it's more like five. Maybe my measurements are off. It's gonna finish about that high off the, off the drum. And the fingers, you notice the fingers are where all the power is coming from. I'm not hitting down hard with my hand, I'm not hitting down hard with my wrist, my whole arms ultra relaxed. I'm talking as relaxed as it possibly can be. Not even just a little relaxed. Again, it's the closing of the hand and the timing of closing the hand that generates the power. It's really important to know. So it's not about hitting down hard. It's about timing the closing of the fingers to generate velocity and momentum in the stick. You get a nice, solid sounding hit with very little effort or energy. That's a dead stroke.